Yo, what up guys, it's Caesar back with another NFT video. Last time we were together, we finally diversified a little bit and instead of talking about some Ethereum NFTs as always, we took a look at some different blockchains, specifically Solana, everything about it, why it is primed to be the Ethereum killer. Well, not really a killer. I think that there will be multiple different blockchains that will be able to host NFTs and thrive you know, in the future for years to come. But besides Ethereum, Solana is definitely the blockchain that has the most hype right now. Solana NFTs have been going crazy. Now, I'm not really going to get into my thoughts on Solana too much in this video. As I said in our last video, we, I just gave you guys a 20 minute breakdown of everything I think about Solana NFTs and why I believe that they will actually live up to the hype. So if you missed that video, guys, definitely be sure to go check it out because you definitely don't want to miss this Solana NFT train, especially if you've just gotten into NFTs in the past month or two. You were too late for those early collections on OpenSea, like the Bored Apes or the Gutter Cat Gang, but this is your chance to, you know, be on the frontier of something in the NFT industry, even though this is, you know, starting to build a lot of hype. As I said, Solana this whole last two weeks has been going crazy. The price of the Solana token is up huge. And, you know, bold badgers, all these Solana NFT collections are selling out, you know, instantly. It's insane. But in this video, guys, imagine you were able to be there for the first day of OpenSea dropping. Maybe some of you were, but I would imagine that most of us weren't. And I know I definitely wasn't, even though I've been in the NFT space for a few months now. But this is your chance to hear about, learn about, mint, and go buy NFTs on a new NFT marketplace the same day it drops. And I really do believe that SoulSea, the new NFT marketplace we are going to talk about in this video, could be you know just as big if not bigger than OpenSea. Now without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead and hop right into this website. So soulsea.io, they were supposed to drop yesterday, I believe, Friday, September 3rd, 2021, but whenever I went on there yesterday, it still said like T minus nine minutes till launch and it didn't launch, but this morning I finally went on and here it is and I'm honestly pretty impressed. Now don't get me wrong, this platform is still extremely primitive and I keep realizing that the more I look around on it, but we can't expect much from it in its first day of launch. It's definitely going to improve a lot more over the coming months and even year. It definitely has a ton of room to improve in the coming months, but I really do think that this is a great start. I know in our last video, we were talking about Solon Art, the one like biggest NFT marketplace for Solana NFTs prior to SoulSea dropping. And the only real problem I had seen so far when people were discussing Solana NFTs were the Solana NFT marketplaces and how the user interfaces just generally weren't really appealing and made the platforms really difficult to use. And I do agree with that. While Solon Art isn't that terrible, it just really hurts the eye. I don't really love the theme of the website. It's really confusing to work. It's just definitely not as clean and easy to use as an open C, and it definitely creates that barrier to entry. Now, Soul C definitely still needs quite a bit of work. It could use a lot more, you know, tabs and stuff because basically everything is on like one or two pages right now at the moment. But I think that they definitely laid the foundation for potentially the open C of Solana NFTs, which would absolutely change the whole game and really allow Solana NFTs to take off even more than they've already been. Now hopping right in on Solsi's main page, they say they are the first NFT marketplace that enables creators to choose and embed licenses when they mint their NFTs. Creators know what they are selling, collectors know what they are buying, join the revolution. Not really sure if that's factual at all because Solonart definitely seemed like it was an open marketplace. I'm not sure if they had a higher tax or any other barriers to entry for selling on the secondary marketplace on Solonart. But still, I would definitely classify Solsi as the first like official NFT open marketplace because while Solonart did work, as I said, this one just seems much more official and has a much better user interface. I really believe that this is like the beginning of Solana NFT marketplaces and now we will truly see the potential that Solana has. And I really do think that we're in store for a lot because if you watched my last video, then you know, 50,000 people were already trying to buy the Bull Badgers collection, which dropped four or five days ago on Solonart. 50,000 people were on the server and the Boring Badgers website could only hold like 100 people, I think. So it was a crazy botch, but still super successful. Still, congratulations to the Boulder team. They've been an absolute success. Their floor price is going through the roof, you know, so shout out to them. There's a funny meme over here I saw on Twitter about it too, if I remember to put it in. Later in this video, we'll look at a project that even dropped today and is now on Soulsea, which sold out within two minutes, made $4 million for the creators and just the Solana NFTs are going absolutely crazy. Now, one thing that Soulsea is offering that I believe is super cool is we see a lot of these NFT collections give the copyright license of their you know artwork to the nft holders the people that buy their product and this is super cool because with soul c they will have embedded nft licenses which means when you sell the nft there will be 
you know, a proof of that copyright license attached to the NFT. So when someone buys the NFT from you, um, you know, when you say that they have commercial rights, not only will they have your word that they have commercial rights, but they'll have some sort of embedded license, which proves that they do in fact have the commercial license for that product. In addition, there will also be implemented minting on the website as well, which will allow you to mint your NFTs on the Solana blockchain on Solsi, just like how a OpenSea would allow you to mint to the Ethereum blockchain. But unlike OpenSea, they don't have the barrier to entry of that first initial transaction and then all the gas fee transactions that come with Ethereum. Instead, you'll only have to pay the gas fee for Solana, which is extremely low, I'd say about like 20 to 50 cents at the most. So way easier to mint, a lot easier to mint too, but you will need a Solana NFT wallet, which is different from a MetaMask wallet. Unfortunately, MetaMask does not support Solana, so you will have to get a new NFT wallet. There are two currently that work with Solsi, and those are Phantom and Solom, I believe. And I'll talk about those in another video, but definitely go with Phantom. They're definitely the way better option. I believe the other wallet isn't even being worked on by the developers anymore, but it's super easy to set up a Phantom wallet. You just go to Phantom Wallet Google extension, make sure that it's the real Phantom. I'll probably put a link in the description. And it's super easy. One thing I love about crypto wallets is you don't have to give them any information or your address or social security or something. You just go, they give you either your seed phrase, which definitely never disclose that with anyone. And then you just put in a password and boom, you have yourself a Phantom wallet. And then you can use that wallet to collect, or then you can use that wallet to connect to Solsea and Solinar and be trading Solana NFTs. Moving on, another cool feature that Solsea has is public and private listing. So you'll be able to either list your NFTs publicly or privately. Now that might be pretty interesting because maybe then instead of having to transfer to someone and you know, or trying to put something up for your friend and it gets sniped, you know, I'm not sure what instances this would really apply to or how much this would really get used. But let's say you wanna sell something to your friend or your dad and you know, you agree with someone to pay some certain amount for your NFT, you can list it and then I imagine that you will be able to send that link to them and they'll the only, they're, they will be the only one who can see it and then they can purchase it from you. But instead of it just getting sniped on the open marketplace, if you try to you know put it up and have your friend buy it instantly. So I'm not sure how much that'll be used, but definitely a cool feature. They'll also be using multi-currency support. So that's something that took OpenSea a while, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, but they will not only be supporting Sol, but they are also supporting USDC and USDT at the moment. And I imagine if they're, you know, promoting that, that they'll be adding more currencies in the future. Now, again, they mentioned the ultra low transaction cost, which is, which is great, not just for minting, but for buying, selling, any type of transaction. These Solana transaction uh, costs are just extremely low, which is amazing. And last but not least, Solsi will also have a rarity index for all their verified collections, which is super cool. I'm surprised OpenSea doesn't have this yet. You know, people have to go on rarity tools and all these different third-party websites to figure out the rarity of their NFTs. Whereas on Solsea, you'll be able to see, is it the 20th most rare in the collection or the, the least rare, you know, which super cool that that will be integrated right onto the platform. Now, continuing on, we can see that, as I said, the website is still super primitive at the moment. They only have four different dropdown tabs, explore, create, calendar, and a frequently asked question page. The fact page, well, let's move on to the fact page real quick before we hop into the rest of the website because it'll answer a few more good questions for us. Now, as we can see here, Solsea also takes a small marketplace fee every time a transaction occurs, just like OpenSea. OpenSea takes 2.5%, Solsea is taking 3%, so a little bit more greedy, but you know, only half a percentage point there, not too bad. That's definitely to be expected. But will Solsi handle creators royalties? Yes, royalties will be distributed to creators on every sale. So that's great. You'll also be able to get your royalties. That's basically a no brainer. If there were no royalties, then I mean, you can't compete in the NFC marketplace space. Now, in addition, it says, will Solsi have a token? Solsi is developed by All Art Protocol. Maybe we will make a video on that company in the future. Uh, let me know if you'd be interested in that in the comments. We can get a little bit more in depth on the creators behind Solsi. But they say that an All Art token is coming soon and more information will be released in the coming weeks. So very interesting that they'll be releasing a coin. Not really sure how that will work out, but just something I thought I'd mention. Now, finally diving into the actual website and going to the explore page, we can either search by NFTs or by collections. As we can see, it's not as clean as OpenSea yet. I do wish there were more options, but at least you have the ability to sort. Uh, they make it really easy to see which collections are verified and which ones are not. Unfortunately, I don't see the rarity page yet or any like ranking page. That's one feature that I really love about OpenSea is they have the ranking page, which makes it really easy to see the collections and how you know they're doing that weekend in terms of volume, floor price, 
you know, everything that you really need to know. But do remember that we are extremely early in Solana NFTs. This is the first day that Solsi is out and Solana NFTs have really only been blowing up in the last three to four weeks. So I believe there's maybe only 300 to 400 NFT collections out on Solana as a whole. So there may, might not even be enough information really that's valuable enough to create a rankings page like that for Solsi but I do imagine it will come on down the line. So while it still is a little bit difficult to explore NFTs on the SoulSea marketplace, I would say it's leaps and bounds ahead of Solanart. And for this being the first day of the platform being out, I am really confident and I'm super excited to see where SoulSea goes. I really love the user interface so far. As I said, it's clearly very primitive at the moment, but I think it's a great foundation for where this could be in the coming two weeks, three weeks to a month. They also have a create page where you can create NFTs and collections. I'll make a more video in depth on this in the future, but this video is already getting a little too long. But I definitely recommend guys, if you are watching this video on Saturday, September 4th, go out there and mint something, just anything like, it, especially since it only costs like a dollar, go to Coinbase, you know, put like 10 bucks in Solana, transfer it to your Phantom wallet, go post something because it's the first day. Imagine being able to post an NFT on the first day of OpenSea. Like you can say 20 years from now, if SoulSea is popping that, you were one of the very first people to ever mint something on the Solana blockchain on SoulSea, which is insane. Now, this is not financial advice. I would recommend that you buy something as well. I probably won't be buying anything either because there's a lot of junk on here right now, like pictures of Donald Trump and all this stuff where it's like, how do people even upload that stuff and expect to get money? But Honestly, we're in such an early stage in NFTs, especially with Solana, where I feel like you can basically just sell anything. But I would be extremely careful investing into anything like that, guys. There's only two or three collections on Sol, or not two or three, but there's only a small handful of collections on Sol that are actually worthwhile. And all those collections are worth, you know, 500 to $1,000 at the very least. So I wouldn't hop into anything just yet. I would definitely wait because there are a ton of collections coming out on Sol soon. And unfortunately, I even missed one today, but I'll be letting you guys know about all the Sol collections so if you haven't already, be sure to go hit that like button and subscribe and leave me a good comment. Now, before we end this video, I thought I'd give you guys one more quick update on Solana NFTs and just the current state of the marketplace. Now, this collection called Piggy Gang, another one of those 10,000 NFT avatar collections, they dropped on the Solana blockchain. You can see their website here, Piggy Gang. It is a one page website, super primitive. It does look pretty good, I can't lie, but very simple website, pretty simple roadmap and everything. And they sold out today within two minutes guys so that's how big the solana blockchain is getting as i said be sure to go check out that other video this blockchain is super early so where there's whereas there's a lot of competition on ethereum you know this chain is just getting started so there's projects like this now where they're just selling out like hotcakes because there really aren't too many collections yet on solana and this project is one of the first to be hopping over to soul c first new collection of the soul c era which is super fascinating it's definitely going to be super cool to see where these guys go their floor is already way up from the mint price, uh, just like most of these Solana NFT collections that have actually been able to drop the 10,000 collections. And I just thought I would just mention that because it is another example of how big the space is getting, how big Solana NFTs are going to be. And I am super confident about this, guys. I think Solana NFTs will definitely be the wave. I will be looking more at Cardano NFTs and other sorts of blockchains and their NFTs in the future. But as of right now, Solana is definitely the blockchain that has the most hype behind it. Me and my friend Mike are even thinking about taking our NFT project and moving it from the Ethereum blockchain to Solana. We're not sure if we'll be able to make it work, but it would be a lot easier. It'd give you guys no gas fees, which would be great for us. It would just be so cool to be like one of the innovators, one of the first people to get on the platform. And then obviously I would share all that knowledge with you guys if I do figure it out, but we'll see that's in the future. Be sure to go join the Super Starfish Discord in the description down below. Uh, it's Our project is dropping September 18th, we're hoping, or sooner. We'll see. I'll let you know. There's a lot going on right now. We're everything out the window to try to get it on the Solana blockchain. But, so a lot going on, and I'm super excited for this collection, guys. It's going to be insane. I promise you, like, this is going to be lasting with me and just growing with my brand the whole time I'm on YouTube. So, so with that being said, I really hope you learned something in this video, guys, and I really hope that you know, you can take advantage of this information, guys. This is the first day that this new NFT marketplace is out. That's huge. Imagine being and being there the first day when OpenSea drops. So I would definitely recommend hopping over to SoulSea, you know, introducing yourself to the website. Really not much on there right now. Like I said, it's super primitive, but it definitely lays the foundation. If you go and check out Soul and Art, then go look at SoulSea. It's night and day. And I believe SoulSea could really grow into that OpenSea and become the marketplace to go to for Solana NFTs and cement the Solana NFT blockchain as you know Ethereum's main competitor. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I need to end this video so I can edit it so that it can actually get out tonight. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.